Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night. And it appears that Nipsey Hussle's Marathon Clothing Store has been vandalized and his friends are upset about it. A video was captured by one of his friends and they were very upset that someone would come in and vandalize the parking lot of several stores there in the structure. And they were like, you know, you guys are just being haters. It is a mess. Well, shortly after, you know, they reported that it was vandalized, many of them came forward to come together and come and immediately clean the area up. So they immediately came, got brooms and, you know, dustpans and whatever they could to come clean the structure up so that they can repair the damages. But it's really sad that somebody would go out their way to do such a thing. People are pretty pathetic these days. If you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit subscribe right now and like the video as well. But here is the video that his friend posted. You sick so because whoever did this shit, they will never ever find out who did this. It's ugly for you because I swear to God, you did. You hurt somebody because you need to see. Okay, so as I stated, as you can see, um, they vandalized the store and then people came to quickly get everything up and cleaned up. Now, speaking of Nipsey Hussle, academics recently spoke out about the King Von situation. And when he spoke out about the King Von situation, he said that he feels like Asian Doll is trying to act like she is Lauren London in this situation. Now, I'm going to play a snippet of what he had to say, and then I want to know what you guys feel about it. Asian Doll is trying to... Yeah, I really do feel Asian Doll is low-key trying to do that, man. I, I fuck with Asian Doll, but, like, from what I'm hearing, yo, Vaughn was with other girls after that, man. Like, yo, yo, she acting like they were married. Asian Doll swears she Lauren London and that Vaughn is, is Nipsey Hussle. She want everybody to come to her like, oh, okay, oh my God, we lost Nipsey, but at least we got you. Like, nah, shorty. Like, yo, we get it. Like, yo, you hurting. You miss him. Fans miss him. His homies miss him. His other girlfriends and side chicks miss him. But stop acting like, yo, yo, she said, yo, this nigga, she said she talked to him after he died. What? She changed her name to Queen Vaughn. What? She was just tripping, honestly. I just don't, like, yo, here's the thing, here's the thing too. Yo, let me give you a real story. Yo, you see what death does? Death, like, really people up. Because it was a death in my family that, that really messed up, like, a lot of our family dynamic. My uncle died, and there's so much infighting among it because here's what happens. When people die, you, you want to find someone to blame. And, of course, Asian dolls looking like, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I do think the man just told the truth. It was a series of unfortunate events that led to Vaughn getting killed. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, the man was telling the truth. Vaughn hopped out the car. 
and literally he like you could tell he not he ain't be like y'all come on with me he ain't say that he pushed through a couple niggas and walked straight to the shit he sees him start squabbling the dude who's in the car sees mad people who were with Vaughn and said oh shit they about to jump Quando and he hops out and just shoots Vaughn right there the, yo shit happened mad quick she changed her name to fucking Queen Vaughn all right, so what do you think about academics saying that Asian Doll is looking for someone to blame? And he also compared her to Lauren London and Nipsey Hussle, saying that she's trying to be like Lauren London or trying to get the love that Lauren London got because Lauren London was Nipsey Hussle's current girlfriend. What do y'all think about that? And what do you think about her saying that she's going to go and get King Von tattooed on her face? Many people responded to this tweet and they felt like she was doing a bit much and they felt like that wasn't the right move what do you guys think about that as she continues to share memories and videos of king von speaking on her and king von and herself together people also <laughs> kept sharing certain tweets under her post one of the tweets they shared was a tweet from king von on the tweet it seemed like something that he might have stated when they broke up and in the tweet, it says, it's already been too many lies and too much food ish. She know that. I know that. I refuse to go back into some ish. I know for show can't work. The trust is gone. It's genuine love for show. But the trust is gone. She know I'm right here for show. Call me whenever I am replacing her or none. And then other people reposted her tweet where she was saying that, you know, she didn't want a guy unless he carried three bodies or unless he caught three bodies. And we all know that what comes with that type of lifestyle, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. So she wants a guy to catch bodies. Well, eventually somebody is going to catch his body as well. And that's what people were reminding her and they were sharing that tweet as well. So what do you think about her saying that she wants a tattoo? What do you think about academics saying that he feels like she's trying to put herself on Lauren London status with um, King Von when in actuality they were not together at the time? And what do you think about all of the stuff that I shared in the marathon store being vandalized. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next video. All right, guys. Peace. I want to put that chain uh, on. What chain? That old block. Because I'm from the O. My girlfriend going to beat your ass. I want to put that chain uh, on. What chain? That old block. Cause I'm from the O. My girlfriend gonna beat your ass. Yeah. You look pretty with that blue hand, yo shit. You like a mermaid or something.